Hi, my name is Stephanie Prieto. I'm an attorney here at the Nieves Law Firm, and today I'm going to be talking about a specific case result that I was able to acquire on a second time DUI out of the county of San Joaquin, and that case result was a full dismissal of the matter, protecting our client's commercial license on the criminal side. Now, to begin, the initial facts of the case, to just give you some background, are that the police were called out after there was a disturbance at a particular home in the neighborhood and there was an allegation that someone was attempting to enter a home. Now, upon arrival, the police officers encountered our client and subsequently arrested him after some questions were asked in regards to his intoxication and they took him to the station to perform all the necessary testing under a DUI investigation. When I received the police reports in this case, the first thing that jumped out at me was that there was no observed driving um, in regards to my client being placed in the vehicle, no allegation of what time he had arrived to the property. Additionally, the witnesses that made the call to the police had no indication of time as to when he arrived. Um, there are many reasons why this was an issue, mainly because DUI investigations rely on time of driving in order to calculate the level of intoxication that someone is at at the time of driving. And so these are very specific facts that because they were missing, even in the initial report, I knew that we could push the DA's office to resolve this matter in a more reasonable manner, especially given that this case was heavily gonna rely on witness testimony, additionally surveillance. And the only surveillance we had was that of my client knocking on the person's home. There was nothing from his time of arrival to the home, nothing to indicate any sort of timeline that would allow the DA to meet their standard of proof um, under a criminal case. Now, in this case, my strategic approach was that of pressing for a dismissal out of the gate or at least a reasonable resolution that would protect my client's commercial license, which would have been simply a reckless driving, no involvement of drug or alcohol um, in the matter. The DA initially wanted to take some additional time to review the case and in order to determine if a dismissal was um, necessary or accurate. Another thing that we did was go out of our way to acquire all of the officer's body-worn camera footage through the DMV side as a way to anticipate and see what issues the DA may raise um, as a counter to our proposal for a dismissal. Um, but after reviewing that police footage and body-worn uh, footage, I knew that the DA was not going to have enough evidence to proceed on this case alone as a criminal matter. And so I held the line in the sense of requesting a dismissal, requesting that this matter wasn't something that could be prosecuted on, and eventually the DA did um, acquiesce to those demands and we were able to secure a dismissal on this matter, which protected our client's commercial license on the criminal law side and that was very, very good because this was a second time offense. Um, when you're dealing with commercial licenses and you have a second time DUI offense, that is a lifetime ban if there is a finding that you were driving under the influence of alcohol. And in this instance, there was enough doubt in terms of innocence, whether my client was actually behind the wheel, um, whether there were other third parties involved, and the time of arrival. The main reason being that alcohol is a substance that accumulates over time. So you start off, you may have started off at below the legal limit, you end up above the legal limit, and then you come back down to below the legal limit. It's a bell curve. And so in this instance, being able to pinpoint exactly when my client was behind the wheel um, was very important and crucial to the DA's case. And because that was not even something that could be calculated, um, it left the case to be a very vulnerable one for the DA. And in this instance, they decided to dismiss the matter and my client's license um, remains active. If you have any questions or you are also dealing with a DUI matter, don't hesitate to give us a call at the Nieves Law Firm.